Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games. Welcome back to part 13 of my Burgundy campaign. We're actually going to unpause here for a second real quick. I'm checking something. We're going to let a few days go by. Okay, good. Good. This is the second time I started recording this and uh, I freaking, uh, right as soon as the thing had started, we got a, a, an African ceasefire. Like immediately and so I went shit was that just RNG so I decided to reload because I'd only been recording for like 20 seconds <laughs> so we're gonna now just keep moving on uh so yeah we're, we're, we're trying to get this uh South African war thing really going here um I really wanna uh, Caesar you always wait for uh, to record to start meowing and complaining anyway we're, we're we want to get to where we can enrage Hutig maybe we could do something else in the meantime. No. Let's see, stabilize South Africa. Yeah, we're just gonna. Gotta keep waiting, really. Hmm. Mass arrest. So I think what we're wanting to do now is, uh. Tunuk Abdul Raham has become the Prime Minister. Uh. I think. After we're actually done with the degeneracy thing. Yeah, 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 right, right. We're trying to go for the Burgundian irredentism. Yeah, sorry, I've been, I was away from the computer for a couple of hours, so I uh, couldn't quite exactly remember what it was we were trying to do. But that, so so those are our two goals right now, so that's why we're just going to be slamming on that five speed. We're trying to get to where we can convert things, and we're also trying to get to where we have 75 uh, political power so we can enrage Hutik. And that ought to prevent him from trying to do anything like, uh, uh, you know, propose a silly little ceasefire. Uh, and besides that, what is this, new Bargons? Uh, the reopening of the Pantheon in West Paris is the last major monument to be renamed to the newly, re newly occupied Parisian sector. Uh... Renaming streets and monuments in commemoration of the Western security expansion. That's what they're calling the war. And the liberation of the peoples there from the corrupt uh, French regime. Uh, Dr. Kaiser, important, finished a short speech. Heard it out on the street. Unlike in Ost Paris in these crowds, Kaiser could still see the odd face twisted by rage and hatred looking at his car with bald fist driver. Please speed up. Uh, so some people are... We're losing control in some areas, basically. Some of the populace is upset, to say the least. All right, cleanse the mistakes. Um, Wissenschaft. Scientific accomplishments of the French people are a category of scientific advancements best understood as a sideshow compared to the genius innovations made by Aryan scientists. Since the unification of the Reich... Generations ago, our people have led the world in the advancement of technology, philosophy, and all facets of human knowledge. It was uh, not just misunderstandings of the course of history that needed to be amended in the minds of the French, but also all of the other aspects of human knowledge in which our people have excelled. Which is to say, all of them. It is time for the new citizens of Burgundy to forget all they know, excuse me, knew of the like of Voltaire and learn of the wisdom of Bauhemer in Heidegger. Blue Blood Belgian Waffling. Okay. Uh, the inner circle are in agreement. Potential rally points for independence movements must be eliminated or minimized. That includes the old Belgian nobility. Um, we could abolish them, or the moderates say we could mimic the old Teutonic Ordenstadt and replace all noble titles with Germanic ones granted by and revocable by the Reichsführer. So we can reward collaborators and punish the less enthusiastic using a little more than empty words uh education crisis will receive a mouthless in our daily political power game right now the education crisis is already hurting that or could, so do we want to take a hit in political power gain or stability i think um mm, only we are superior dissolve the houses seize their estates and send anyone who protests to the lager uh yeah mathis instability is what i'm thinking because political power can pay for us to get more stability. Money, stability could be traded for, or political power can be exchanged for goods and resources. Whoa, we got way too many laborers here, people. Let's fix that. Oh my gosh, and I still have to make the uranium mines and stuff. There's so much to be done. 
Yeah. Let's put these over here. Hmm. Where else do we have too many? I don't like having this many there. Yeah, just keep sending them to the Rodomo. Gosh. We have to be responsible for the deaths of, like, tens of thousands already. Hmm. We're so close. Gotta get to 75. Luckily, it's the most expensive thing. Okay, I need to... Why is it still telling me to do these things when I highlight the thing? It's just really annoying. Keep this closed forevermore. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, cleanse the mistakes. Center susceptibility will go up by five. Just trying to get to that 75. Damn, we're down to barely over half a point a day. This sucks! So the education crisis, is it like a stability thing? All right. Russia Finnish ceasefire has been signed. The perfidious Finns escape Dushtis again. Oh, they lost. Uh, the Finns will cut, it is expected that the Finns will cut loose their erstwhile allies in Onega. In exchange, they will recognize Finnish claims in Karelia. Okay, so it's sort of a ceasefire leading Finnish. Uh, okay. Hold on. So, yeah. They, they took back Samara, but not the rest. Okay. What do we want to do now, then? Because we could keep making these better. Alright, Burgundian Irredentism. Far from a modern... Hold on, Caesar. Let me get you in my lap. Come here, you... No, 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 no. Just want to be annoying. Okay. Far from a modern invention, the idea of a burgundy actually predates the existence of the French kingdom. It has been a feature upon the face of Europe more often since the 6th century that it, sixth century that it has not been there. That's probably supposed to say six centuries. Um, this or maybe, I don't know, just, just a lot of little grammatical errors they probably could tighten up, I'm just saying. This state's rightful domain, our state's rightful domain, extends from the Rhine to the Channel and from the North Sea to the Alps. For many years now, this region, though geographically cohesive, has been divided between a plurality of countries and people, some superior to others. It is our moral duty as the most superior of all of these arbitrarily disparate identities to collect together and racially purify the inhabitants of the region, to make Burgundy the best, most pure and distilled and most strong version of itself as it has ever been. The people must know that we are the herders of the sheep and shall lead those of the whitest wool to the greenest grass they have ever feasted upon. All right, we're nearly there. A few more days, like a week. <laughs> what is this? Wissenschaften. Okay, some more internal decisions. Wissenschaft. Wissenschaft? Okay. Well, the main part of the educational reform has focused on the social sciences for obvious reasons. We cannot get so caught up in the human humaniora that we lose sight of the regular sciences. We have a space in our mandated learning plan for one more subject. We only have to decide which subject from the Aryan learning plan should also be present in the Untermensch learning plan. The Office of Education and Culture wants us to teach applied chemistry to the children to address the shortage of skilled labor our chemical industry is facing. The Annenerbe suggests teaching them genealogy. By allowing the children to explore their own ancestry, it will help them immensely in tracking Aryan genetic dispersal in the French population and help locate potential future recruits at the SS. The Schulungs officer will, of course, inspect the children's handings, very, handings very carefully for signs of racial pollution, especially names associated with the great enemy. Finally, Dr. Kassar recently received an unsigned letter marked with a vulk nut slid under his door by someone unknown. It suggests teaching the children Ariosophy, which will make them more compliant by showing them the occult and divine powers of the master race. Which shall we promote? Uh, it replaces religious classes, so this will get a boost in our daily political power game, but it'll hurt our academic base. Or we can get a, the reverse, or we can get a boost in research speed. 
Uh, Ariel Sophie may be unorthodox, but nicely replaces religion class. I like that. So I think uh, I think we now have just got no negatives in terms of our political power gain uh, from from the educational crisis anyway. But now it is time to further enrage Hutig. Uh, so it's going to take two weeks to take effect. I wonder if we'll get a notification that he's using chemical weapons. This is actually kind of good. I like that the Union of Africa is starting to make its way towards Windhoek. It looks like they've taken a little more land. But they're losing some here. Great, great situation. Fantastic. Did Free France get a little bigger? Oh, there it is! We did it! We did it! Chemical weapons used in South Africa. When the first scattered reports came in from the front, they were dismissed as misidentified smoke clouds by panicked soldiers. But when the casualties choking and gasping for air were carried past TV cameras and reporters, there was no denying it. For the first time since World War I, the United States Army was assaulted by a poison gas attack, and at the hands of the Germans, no less. It was suspected that Hans Hutig's forces in Ostafrika had chemical weapons, although few believed he would ever use them in the field. But he has, violating one of the only widely respected taboos in modern warfare. The American government has already promised retribution, and an outpouring of support for America has flooded in from around the world. There are now few who doubt who the greater evil is in the South African War. How horrifying! That's good, that's good. Uh, let's see. The KVP has successfully uh, lobbied the government to ban the performance, production, sale, and sharing of French music. But we've hit a snag in what movement, what music to define as French. Uh, the stuff sung in French, duh. Music with French vocals should obviously be banned. Thank you, thank you. Called it. Anyway, um... But what about orchestral pieces? As most of the famous French orchestral musicians come from the Northeast and Ile de France, the Abernet believes many of the composers may have had significant Aryan blood. There is the also the issue of the Reichsfuhrer. He is fond of classical music, especially when in <clears throat> volatile moods. Banning a piece he enjoys might annoy him significantly. Is taking a hard line stance against French culture worth risking worsening his mood? Uh, so we can do a bonus in stability if we do the light touch, but it will hurt our war support. Or ban it all and make sure someone expendable signs the order, so it'll hurt our stability more, but we get a boost in daily political power gain. Look, there's a lot of other composers out there that aren't French. You know, Himmler will get over it. All right. Better safe than sorry, right? We don't want to accidentally be listening to music from the <clears throat> the great enemy. All right, so ban it all. Make sure someone expendable signs the order. So now I think we're getting a buff to our political. Yeah, we are. Nice. Getting a buff to our political power gain these days. Oh, yeah. Whoa, I just noticed this. Military just says kill them all. <laughs> Beyond no supervision. Everything's a hot fire zone. Division attack plus 20%. Goodness gracious. Oh, that was actually accidentally more than I'd meant to make, but whatever. There we go. Great. Uh, okay, so we've got that done. What is this? Klein if find it. The teacher smiled and gestured at the girl that she could sit. That's right, Annette. The Reich saved Europe from the great enemy because the old Führer created the Schutzstaffel and ordered Reichsführer Himmler to protect the grand revolt of the Aryan race against the dominion of the Jew. While the brave soldiers of the Waffen-SS fought the Slavic hordes along the Wehrmacht, the rest of the SS were fighting their own secret war with the great enemy, tracking them down, uh... Rounding them up and sending them to... Clara? The KZ Lager, where evil people go. Very good, Clara. Ever since the start of the New Order in 1933... That's the name, oh my god. Anyway, the SS have been rounding up evildoers and sending them to the KZ Lager. That's why you can walk the streets safe now and not worry about criminals stealing from you, Bolsheviks burning your home, or Jews taking your children away, like it used to be in the old days. Now, Peter, I know you've done your homework on the outside world. 
In the last few years, most of the SS have come here to the Ordenstadt because three great servants of the e great enemy have really taken control over the world after the death of the old Fuhrer. Which one of them is considered so dangerous to the Aryans and the French that he is often called the Little Enemy? Hmm. So what is this going to... Oh my gosh, what is that? Close. All right, hold on a sec. Uh, Wallace Bennett, who controls the endless money of Wall Street. Ikeda Masanosuke, Lord of the Countless Hordes of Asia. So that's got to be the uh, Japanese guy here. Or is there Ikeda? Anyway, uh, or Martin Borman, who betrayed the Reich and the Aryan race. So, what do we want here? Is anything going to boost my political power gain? No. Uh, so who's the little enemy? Hmm. Boost in war support. I have none. <laughs> At all. Uh, I don't think I really need it. Uh... I guess what'll just hurt me the least. Oh, geez, I don't want to lose any of these really, but. How bad is education crisis hurting my research? 10%. Academic base is real bad. We're just going into free fall here. We're going to be in a primary schooling before we know it. Mm. So, no matter what, our war support's going to go up, which I don't care about. Damn. You know what? Wallace Bennett, as far as I know, doesn't have a nickname in the community, so I will I will now bestow upon him Wallace F. The Little Enemy Bennett. Yeah, <laughs> gosh. Uh. Hmm. What is the play now? Hmm. Okay, so we got, we're got we starting to get some more... Dang, I'm trying to figure out what my next move is, but then these things still keep happening. Oh, good, the Burgundian Irredentism is done. But what's this? Rauchen verboten. Uh, Rauchen. So, like, gross? Gert, hmm, hold on. I'm going to look this up, what this word is. Give me a second. What is forbidden? Rauchen. Or, like, vice? No, that's not right. Okay, hold on. Rauchen. Rauchen is... Oh, smoking. So, like, wretch. Rauchen is todlik. Smoking is deadly. Uh, after we took control of France, the situation... Okay, they're trying to eradicate smoking, but it's mixed results. After we took control of France, the situation has gotten even worse, as the French really love their smokes. No matter how we ban it, or how many cigarette smugglers we shoot, packs keep showing up on the black market. It also doesn't help that those trusted SS personnel who are allowed to visit the nations of the Pact and the Reich proper are almost without fault sneaking packs with them back, hidden in boots and uniforms, sometimes even in their luggage if they know the border guards doing the searches. Division Charlemagne's French members share the nicotine addiction of their countrymen and are paying considerable sums to both black market dealers and their fellow SS for the chance to acquire a pack. Should we try to step up our crackdown on black market cigarettes, or is it a waste of resources to try to save the lives of mostly non-Germans who are too stupid to make healthy life choices? Hmm. Uh, could you do a Malthus instability or Malthus in political power gain? Dang it. Part of me wants to say let Darwin take the fools. The SS is for the strong and smart. That's what it stands for, right? <laughs> strong and smart. The Waffen strong and smart. Uh, but... I don't want to lose the political power gain, so we're going to say, smoking is bad for you, hunt down the markets. Uh, yeah, I want to, oh, sweet, 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 here we go, here we go. Uh, culture convert. So we can start doing this now, this is what I was curious about. So we can do, uh, when we have 50 national in dark rotation, we will lose 50 national in dock. Take seven days, when it's removed, Himmler loyalty will be raised by 10, and it'll become a core of the state. It also gained 10 Himmler support. The susceptibility of this state is 65, adding a bonus to our support to the state. So can we just do this to all of them? Or, or, or I don't know, but um, the point is the culture convert. So yeah, let's just get started. So who's got the highest central suit? Uh, okay. Cool. And so it begins. Oh, we still have extra national indoctrination. Okay, wait, 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 then. Uh, then let's... Um, uh, who, who's the next highest? We got Central Suit, then Center. Um, 
let's see, let's do some mass arrests. And then in a week we'll be able to, or no, we could culture or convert a different one now. Um, so the next highest we could either do Velon Point de Arc or Soli de Sur Loa. Um, I guess we should do Velon Point de Arc since it's uh, currently, you know, somebody else has the majority there. Grammar Nazism. I've. I have been called the devil and a grammar Nazi uh, by people like for when when I uh, used to have a Discord because I would get pissed at people because they would speak in they or they would type in really misspelled letters and bad grammar all the time and I couldn't understand them so it's dude I don't know what you're saying to me because I can't understand it it's not as if we're in a voice chat you need to spell better and oh oh I literally there's literally devil caricatures made of me uh, from that. Maybe I'll post it in the community tab sometime. If you want to see, if you want to see a propaganda poster that was made against me when I used to run a Discord, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to dig up the picture. Uh, I think I have it on my phone somewhere still. Uh, let's see. The German lesson was an unusually dull one for Peter or Pierre, as his uh, parents called him at home. The complexity of the German cases and the intricacy of wrapping his song, his tongue around the harsh consonants of the true language was making Peter's head hurt, but the 11-year-old knew better than to doze off from his lessons. The usual SS Sch Schulung officer, a jovial fat man who lived over the butcher in town, had the last few weeks been replaced with a young, fish-looking fellow with a wispy blonde mustache and the eyes of a hungry wolf. The boy's eyes dwelt on the man just a moment, trying to determine what exactly about the wide mouth and flat nose made the young man so resemble a fish. Had it been the old Sch Schulung officer, he might have allowed himself a slight chuckle. But this new one did not fall asleep or read a book like his predecessor. Peter had lived long enough to know the men in the black clothes and leather boots were their most dangerous when alert and attentive like this one. The man suddenly yelled out in German and Peter nearly jumped out of his chair. But the German's anger, sudden and then gone like a sugar ration on a Sunday, was directed at his teacher. The officer seized the big ruler by the blackboard and held up the whimpering teacher's cheek with it and began softly, late, angrily speaking in a dialect of German Peter struggled to follow. Name, dein name, Frankenscheiser. Wilhelm Erschungslungheifer, Wilhelm Oberstadt, of Wird Steigerstadt. The the conversation carried on for several tense moments, but as far as Peter understood, the issue revolved around whether the grammar the teacher was teaching was still right. When the officer seemed pleased, he removed the ruler from the teacher's cheek and turned to the sixty children in front of him. Verstent er Kinder. Hoch Deutsch spreche das Herrenvolk und er sieht Nikes Dagenden. Er wird die Grammatik erinnern, die Unkmaden Gobert. Uh, Peter didn't know what he said, but every child in Burgundy knew the correct response to his expectant tone. Jawohl, Herr Officer. So we're going to lose further control of a couple of regions, but hold on a sec. We're going to look this up. I caught a couple of the words, but I haven't even attempted... Uh, you know, studying German in years. So I think, like, okay, so the beginning is you see children. Hoch Deutsch spricht das Edenvolk. Edenvolk, that's the people, right? Uh, oh, oops, it's been in. Ach, ich sprich das, yeah. Herren. Volk und ihr seid nix da get you know what here let me let me cut and I'll come back when I'm done translating okay some of this it's uh, I'm, I'm having trouble um, finding a uh, lit some literal translations or like but the basically what it seems like they're saying is the guy saying, you see children, the master race, or it could, it could, Herrenvolk might mean master race, or like the master people, um, but it could also mean nation. Uh, so anyway, the, we'll just say the master race. So the, the master race speaks high German, and you're not against it. Um, you will, it's like, you... It's like you're gonna learn this, you children of maggots, sort of. But it doesn't use children, literally. Um, tra Translation stuff. I don't people who do it for a living. 
All right, Yavol Air Officer. All right, so um, we can get a little bit of national indoctrination right here. This 50 is pretty good. Bonfire of the Vanities. Hmm. Yeah, let's just uh, get that new program. Children's schools do not exist purely to train laborers. Universities do not exist to create a chance of intelligentsia to become depraved and socially corrupt the other classes. All sources will be shaped by the state. A well-educated worker is best defined as one who fills his quotas and does not question the decrees of the SS. All right. Now then, uh, what's going on down in South Africa? Or do we want to do anything yet? Yeah, because this doesn't cost us political power, so do we maybe want to get to work down there, or do we want to start making uranium and stuff? Nah, let's keep let's keep this going. Let's stabilize the Boers. We want them to do well. We don't want Johannesburg to fall. What is this? Oh yeah, I forgot I was building a couple of military factories just because I didn't know what else to do. All right. Hmm. Only 11% trained. Uh, can we get some more of these air assault divisions made in case I end up needing any? Hmm, that'll put us a teeny short, teeny bit short. Whoops. Okay, stabilize the boars. Okay, could do some mass arrests. That's fine. Domestic education. Oh, Caesar, you're fine. Quit, quit having a fit. Please, I'm trying to make people think I don't feed you when I do, or that I don't give you attention when I do. Okay, so... Let's see, I'm holding, I'm holding Caesar now, so that's why he's quiet, because he just wanted some touch. Uh, let's burn the old books so we can get that indoctrination. There's something beautiful about the simplicity of a good old-fashioned book burning. Hold on. Mm. All right, where were we? About a good old-fashioned uh, book burning. The authors of the world in which we now inhabit are too often a part of the destitute vermin that ought not to propagate their filth onto the eyes of good-blooded men and women of the Ordenstein. Hold on a sec. So we're gonna we're gonna book burn. I just realized I have not been doing um, more investigating. Oh, we're nearly at the end here. The raid of the supposed safe house was quick and easy, resulting in minimal casualties for our men. But what the house reveals dwarfs any deaths. Located underneath a rug that was upturned in the fighting is a trap door that opens a tunnel leading directly to a sewer line, carved into the building itself. We do not know what lies down there, and many of our men are reluctant to venture into the dark, but this could finally be the key that cracks the case open. We can search the catacombs, we could set a trap to capture operatives. Uh... Hmm. Search the sewers. Or. Yeah, ser search the sewers. Oh, goodness. 34% chance. Well, see how that goes. We're going to find out what exactly is going on in Redomo. Redomo! Oh, 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 oh! Hmm. Center. Let's get some laborers out of there. Oh, don't like that ratio. Okay. That's better. Let's see. 1576. That's fine. That's fine. Uh-huh. Confin. Okay. All right, I think we're all right. Uh, let's put some more officers here. Okay. Ha uh. <laughs> ha sure ha. you are. So the domestic education, we do not have enough indoctrination, but let's do some mass arrests. Okay, Versailles at 55. No, we should do Soleil sur l'eau. Okay, 
Haiku. What is this? Illuminate French culture from all recently acquired territories. Yeah. We're working on it. So like, if we look down here in Centro Sud, they are now Burgundian culture. The state boasts culture of obedience and oppression. Uh, we got a setback. I don't know if I'd say it's unexpected. Oh, looks like we also are finally making some progress on the drug thing. Let's go down this path. Widespread meth use. Um, oops. It seems like this rumor is in fact true. Digging into Mazier's personal life has revealed a, revealed a disturbing secret. Both he and his legion, legion have gotten addicted to the large stores of meth left over as stimulant from the Second Weltkrieg. Medical and suspect reports seem to indicate that Mazier lost control of his personal struggle long ago and now commands the Legion with a loose fist, but most of them are too high to notice. Obviously, such degeneracy should be impossible, especially considering the stores from the 1940s should have run out long ago. To, co to get you to dig into this and find out where they are getting it from, oh, getting their fix, we have three options. Stake out the streets, analyze the crystals, Bribe the dealers with immunity to get them to tell us who's buying and why. Uh, sure, let's try bribing them with immunity. Well, this isn't going to go well, is it? All right. Well, anyway, that's it for today's episode of Conquering History Games. The next one, we'll keep looking into this meth thing and uh, keep trying to extend that war down in South Africa. Um, anything else I want to do here? Stabilize South Africa. I think stabilizing is what we want to do. Yeah, we, we want South Africa to kind of hold out, but the Boer Republic still needs to stay strong. Oh, we can enrage Huttig more. Well, we already did that. Hmm. Anyway, see you then. Bye.